Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we are looking at the quarterfinal match of the MLCW League here in YM Academy. So this is a this is a community league. Community league. It's Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. No dip wars, so Town 11 can't dip down on Town Hall 10s, etc. And we're going to clean up this attack right here for our first attack. If you caught it earlier, this is, uh, there's about 20 minutes left in the war, and I have two attacks. Uh, we have two other players with two, with one attack each, and Legion of Noobs here has two attacks as well. I think Legion of, Lo Legion of Noobs here is, like, one star ahead of it, uh, I think. So we'll see how this goes. So this is this is a Queen Charge hybrid attack at Town 12. And I think the problem here is the Queen didn't survive the after the Town Hall. So the Queen sort of, sort of walked around the corner a little bit weirdly, and then that's how she died. She just got too much damage on her and couldn't keep up. So we're going to fix that, and that's how we're going to turn this into a triple. So the miners sort of just die out, but with the queen surviving around that corner where the town hall is, she'll be able to take out the uh, Tesla farm, and that'll be all good. So here's the army. We're going to go in in just a moment. So 21 minutes left. We have four attacks. They have two, and we are all tied up on stars. So that's that's the uh, that's the situation. So Queen over by the Builder Huts uh, at 12, uh, 11 o'clock. And we're just going to check exactly where the Queen's dropped here. And exactly where, um, exactly where a couple of troops have dropped. So just double checking, of course. So Queen at the top, she moves to the left. Takes down the Town Hall, which is sort of the, on the outside of the base. Just through a half layer of walls. And then she should continue around the corner with the help of a little bit of a little bit of uh, damage-seeking troops on that left side, and the fact that that was a Town Hall 11 attacking up the Town Hall 12, so the higher-level queen should be able to survive that. Baby Dragon at the top for the funnel, and Wizard on the left. Queen by the Builder Huts, and with the healers down, she's going to be able to tank quite a few defenses at once, and a lot better than the level 50 Queen from the Town Hall 11 that scouted the base. So Queen is not, uh, well, the Baby Dragon is able to take out down the cannon, but I don't think the Queen would have gone there anyway. It's a little, it's a little bit close. So, but... Good thing that the Baby Dragon was able to get that. King and CC all in the same poison, that's very good. Very good value. And Queen is at a really good standing here. She's probably not going to die to anything on that left side. She has an extra rage spell, maybe even two extra rage spells, depending on how much we actually need to dedicate to her. So Queen's still working, uh, going strong. Miners in on the, the Inferno Tower. Alright, this isn't really a hybrid attack. It's just the the hogs from the clan castle are going to end up in the middle of the base. Heal spell down. Going to freeze and rage in a moment. Or heal again. And then Rage and Freeze. So in the middle is just a big mess. And the whole thing here is we're just relying on the Queen to be able to get the rest of the base down. So I just need the Hogs to get this Inferno Tower. And if they're able to do that, then the Queen can clean up the entire rest of the base on her own. So getting that Inferno Tower leaves the Wizards and the Miner at the at the uh, middle of the base to be able to take down the CC. That will help with the cleanup speed. 
and that is it for the base. That is going to be a three star for us, up to 73 versus 72 in the score. As long as, well, it's just going to take a while. Nothing in the corners. But Queen with her ability is going to be able to take down the wall necessary to get the Inferno in just a couple of swings. Just a couple of uh, bolts. So she goes after a bit of a weird wall. Not the same one as the Pekka goes through. But able to take care of it. So here's the score, we are down on percentage. And here is the second base that we're going to hit. This is also scouted by Tunnel 11. Um, I think we're going to look at the replay in a moment, because I'm going to use that also to bolster my attack as well. So the plan is to have the queen walk in this, the same queen walk as is in the scout which is a queen uh, by the barrack at 4 o'clock. She's going to walk down to the double archer towers. And we're not going to use an e-drag for funnel. But same queen walk. King at 6 for funnel. Or not... I'm not going to use king for 6 at funnel. I'm going to use a couple of troops at 6 for funnel. I'm going to wall break into that area instead of wall wrecker. Uh, and then Queen's just going to deal with all those defenses on her own. And then we'll have Miners going in from the left side over by the Warden statue. King at 9 o'clock for funneling the Miners. So we notice the percentages. There's, um, there's, they only have two attacks, but they have three bases they need to hit in order to get a perfect war. So, um, they chose to hit two bases that had high percentages, instead of going for the lowest percentages, to be able to guarantee, or to be able to, yeah, to guarantee, well not guarantee, because we have extra attacks, in order to increase the chance of winning on percentage, but instead they left a low percentage base up, so, um, if we can get this triple, even if they get two triples as well, we'll be able to win the war. So this queen walk is going quite well. The uh, extra rage spell instead of the wall breakers are over uh, grass to rage spell, unfortunately. But we did end up getting the two layers of wall break in. And now the damage CC is pulled. Queen's gonna do. Queen's gonna deal with that for a couple of minutes, seconds. Siege barracks on the left. Sorry. So that is what we use for funnel. Queen's just taking her old time. I'm gonna freeze on the queen and rage. And these miners have a very narrow path through the town hall and into those final inferno towers. Queen unfortunately doesn't go for that right hand inferno tower like I wanted, but that should be fine. It's pretty far off on its own, so it's not going to do it's not going to deal a lot of damage to the miners. Miners and hogs are working on the left side. Warden has uh, warden ability used as soon as the Single Inferno um, starts dealing a lot of damage to the Queen. Freeze to save the Queen, but it's obvious now that that doesn't even matter. There's so many troops here that it's definitely going to be a triple. And that means we are going to win this war no matter what they do. So that is a GG to Legion of Dubes, your YM Academy, going on to the semifinals in this MLCW uh, League. So let's check on what they've done. 74 to 74. They it did end up getting both of those triples, but it just wasn't enough. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.